Welcome to the Battle Drill Devotional Podcast with Captain Rob Westwood Payne. Today is Wednesday, the 19th of April. One way we can encourage each other as Christians is to practice the one another's in the Bible. This week in Battle Drill Devotionals, we're focusing on just five of the 59 one another's found in Scripture. Today we turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verses 10 to 17, which we're reading from the Message Translation. The Cross, the Irony of God's Wisdom I have a serious concern to bring up with you, my friends, using the authority of Jesus, our Master. I'll put it as urgently as I can. You must get along with each other. You must learn to be considerate of one another, cultivating a life in common. I bring this up because some from Chloe's family brought a most disturbing report to my attention that you're fighting among yourselves. I'll tell you exactly what I was told. You're all picking sides, going around saying, I'm on Paul's side, or I'm for Apollos, or Peter is my man, or I'm in the Messiah group. I ask you, has the Messiah been chopped up in little pieces so we can each have a relic all our own? Was Paul crucified for you? Was a single one of you baptised in Paul's name? I was not involved with any of your baptisms, except for Crispus and Gaius, and on getting this report, I'm sure glad I wasn't. At least no one can go around saying he was baptised in my name. Come to think of it, I also baptised Stephanus's family, but as far as I can recall, that's it. God didn't send me out to collect a following for myself, but to preach the message of what he has done, collecting a following for him. And he didn't send me to do it with a lot of fancy rhetoric of my own, lest the powerful action at the centre, Christ on the cross, be trivialised into mere words. Amen. Are you a team player? Or are you an outlier? I know people who hate working alone. They need the creative spark of a team around them to function at their best. I've known others who like to do everything alone and will complain if others help that they don't do the job to the same standard they do it to. The Bible makes it clear that God's work is meant to be done together. That's why it holds so much teaching about what we should do towards one another. In 1 Corinthians, Paul writes to a rather difficult church that they should learn to be considerate of one another. Consideration is one of the most important aspects of living and working together. It is consideration that helps us learn to cooperate with each other. We begin to see what we each bring to the team. We learn to notice each other's needs. We soon see that though we are all different, we are stronger together. It is consideration that leads us to be thoughtful with our words and actions, learning to take people's fears and doubts into consideration. Being considerate takes time and effort. It is challenging work, but it brings happiness, strong relationships, and a good and effective team. As you reflect on those words today, you might want to use this question to help. Why are members of our church family often the hardest ones to get along or work well with? And I hope to see you again soon for another battle drill. If you would like to subscribe to Captain Rob's Battle Drill Devotional, wherever you choose to listen to podcasts, or if you'd like to receive them direct to your inbox, head to www.equippinghispeople.com forward slash devotional and follow the instructions.